Hey, it's February 2nd. Can you believe it's February? Can you believe it's February? I can't. I can't. It's I can't. unbelievable. I, want to, I, I, I just can't. Yeah, welcome to another Daily Dose of Hope, our opportunity to encourage you in the Lord. And I want to talk today, we're talking this week about consistency in our recovery. And a verse that I found that I want us to discuss this morning comes out of the book of Colossians chapter 3. Mm. Therefore, if you have been raised with Christ to a new life, sharing in his resurrection from the dead, keep seeking the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind and keep focused habitually on the things above, the heavenly things, not on things that are on the earth, which only have temporal value. For you died to the world and your new real life is hidden with Christ in God. There's a lot there, Troy. We're not talking about the law of attraction that Oprah Winfrey might ascribe to, but we're saying that if you will set your mind on the things of God, you'll move in that direction. Yeah, and here's the way I would say it, Bill. Our thoughts, what floats around in our heads and what floats around in our hearts are emotions. So our thoughts and our emotions have a huge impact on the direction we're going, have a huge impact on us being consistent. And it's very, very important for us to realize that what I think about, what I give my mind to, what I ponder, what I daydream about will have an impact on my recovery. It will have an impact on my uh, consistency. And so as Paul said there, I must set my mind on things that are above. I must think about God's stuff and not about other stuff. We tend to be all or nothing people, mm -hmm. us, us uh, recovering yes. addicts. And the idea comes to mind immediately when you say that is I need to become a Puritan. I need to get rid of my television. I need to cancel cable. I got to burn my records. Yes. What, what's the reality of that? You know, I burned my records. <laughs> I know you did. And uh, my daughter is very, very angry that long before she ever came into this world, I burned a really amazing classic rock. Uh, LP collection. Wow. Uh, because I wanted to set my mind on things above. And what I realized uh, is that um, it, it really is about our thought life more so than what we do there. And it is important. Garbage in, garbage out. We've heard that saying before. But the reality is this each and every day, I've got to ask myself, what am I thinking about today? Because if I let garbage come in, I will end up being distracted. And if I'm distracted, it's hard to be consistent when I'm distracted. In fact, let's say it this way, it's impossible to be consistent when I'm distracted. And so I've got to make sure that what I'm thinking about, what I'm letting my mind wander to and float to, is godly and is directed by God. And there's no better way to do that than just to connect with him like we talked about uh, in previous weeks, to connect with him and to bring him in close, you know, the Bible says that, that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. What if we listened to God's words and we let those be what filled our thoughts? Mm, I love it. You've heard us talk about cooperation and, and cooperating with God in recent weeks too. I think it's safe to say that as God convicts you about what you listen to, what you watch, what you uh, participate in in this, in this world, uh, be cooperative with him. If he says to stop something, stop it. If he doesn't, and you can operate in it freely, do so. But let's not become these all or nothing, you know, I can be a freak about that and just, yeah. it, makes it, it makes it all too difficult. So hey, let's, let's, let's keep ta tackling this issue and uh, learning more about consistent recovery. We'll be back tomorrow. We look forward to talking to you then. See you tomorrow.